I'm Grumpy No Friends and welcome back to my Geek Stuff channel. If it's the first time you've been to the channel, thank you for joining and I hope you can find something that will help you out. So today, I'm going to show you how to remove or request the removal of your personal information from Google search. So what you want to do is you want to open up your browser. Go to Google search. It's going to ask you to, to sign in. So sign in with your information. Now I'm not going to use my real name and where I live. So what you would do is you put your name in here. So I'm going to use an actor, a British actor called Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead. So you'd put your name and then you can put the state, province, city, town, country, any of those. The more you put in, the more it's going to narrow down to get your results to, to find in you. If you were just going to put just your name, there may be a lot more. You wouldn't be surprised of how many things you've been putting and how much information you've been putting on social media. You know, Twitter, Facebook, X, all those sort of sites. Whether you've got Tinder, whether you've got Grinder, and all those sort of things. Whether it was a stupid thing you did when you were younger. Getting rid of this information. Maybe time to, to move on. So... You've searched yourself in uh, Google search. So say you wanted to remove yourself from Wikipedia, the Wiki, Wiki or the IM, IMDB, for example. But say it was one of the social medias. Now, whichever the results are here, look to the right here, you've got your three dots. So left click on those three dots. And as you can see up here, here's the results. So what you want to do is you want to select this one, remove results. So you click on the remove results. And it's going to ask you, why do you want to remove this information? This shows personal information and contacts is the best one to select. Or you can manage it down. You can click on this other one. So first of all, I'm just going to click on remove my results. It's going to see that you're already logged in. And then you're going to click on continue. It's going to ask you for your real name and a contact information. As in a phone number, home address or email. So I'm just going to put some fake stuff inside here. I'm just going to call, say, Simon. Put a phone number, uh, 8675309. And then click on continue. So here you go. Send request. If you request to remove research, the contact your search results, here's the information. And then you click on send. That'll send it to um, Google for, uh, for, for a review. When I did this one, it came back within a few minutes, you know, and it rejected it because it was a um, 411 uh, directory that I was at. And the only way I could remove myself from that directory is to talk to my, ser my phone service provider and be on a no call list. But then I have to pay for that service. So that's why I couldn't do that. The other thing you could do. So there's an actual form that you can fill out detail remove request form and there's a physical form you can request that to be removed from the internet personal information you know the information here selecting which country you're from and then follow the steps so these are multiple ways you can go online through google search and then request the removal of your information now this will only remove it from the search feature it won't necessarily move it from the website itself, but it'll stop people being able to search your name and then that content coming up, you know, showing the pictures of you or more information about you. I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found this helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff, and consider liking and subscribing.